I brought a Civil War soldier's ID tag, or what they now call a dog tag. Okay. But these were never issued by the government mm -hmm. until the First World War. But this man was a Civil War veteran, and he purchased this ID badge to wear in case he got killed. He wanted his body identified, okay. and he's a man from, from Muncie. Down in Milton. Um, Milton. I'm in Milton. Oh, it's from Milton. Hometown is Muncie for oh, me. Okay. <laughs> so, wow. Do you think you could maybe hold that up to the, to the camera for us? I could do that. It's a small item. It has a, a hole in it. They would just put it on a string and wear it around their neck. Okay. I'd say the majority of those killed the war were not identified. Some soldiers who didn't have one of these, maybe right before the battle, would take maybe just a piece of um, paper okay. and write their name mm -hmm. and pin it to their back or something like that. And uh, so they could be identified. Practically all my life I've collected things I was very interested in the Civil War. And I found this in a, uh, uh, an antique shop. And, and I bought it and did the research on it. I was able to uh, come up with quite a bit of information on this man. As I mentioned before, he was, um, his name was Anson Longan, L-O-N-G-A-N. And he was born in uh, 1841. So he was 20 years old when he went in the Civil War in, in 1861. Okay. This is his, uh, pictures of his tombstone here in the okay. Harmony yeah. Cemetery. Mm -hmm. He lived uh, on Front Street. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's number 242. There's a picture of his, of his oh, home okay. here on the main street. Wow. In the Pennsylvania Monument at Gettysburg uh, lists all the names of the veterans by by the various units, the various regiments that they belong to. And he is listed on here as, as being a member of Company H and was at the Battle of Gettysburg. Wow. It's interesting that he went through all of these battles. Uh, he also had the, uh, some of the battles uh, marked on, on, his, I, on the back of his ID. He was at the Battle of Fredericksburg and the Battle of South Mountain, which was uh, just about the same time as the Battle of Antietam, and he, he happened okay. to be in both of those. And then uh, his unit was sent down to the uh, uh, peninsula of, uh, where Williamsburg is located in, in Virginia, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he fought all the way through those uh, battles up, up to uh, Williamsburg, and uh, he went through all of those battles and uh, came home to be run over by a trolley. So strange to think about. Wow. <laughs>